All right. Well, it's Tuesday morning, February 2nd, and I just got out of my Apple trade. And as you can see here, my entry was pretty much yesterday, a little bit after the close, and I got out in this early pre-market. So to show you close up here, I actually entered pretty well at the close yesterday, or after the close. I got in at a little bit below 134. And my exit was this morning roughly around 135.44, covering about 1.1%. So that was in cash, about $1,800, a little bit more on Apple. So not too bad this morning. I'm pretty happy with that trade. Not as big as I expected seeing the daily on here on Apple. I was expecting a pretty big turnaround, but I'm hoping Apple will still keep carrying on and it might be worth a good day trade this morning. So why I thought this was such a good swing trade isn't too hard to see. You can see the last time Apple had a green day, we had a pretty good spike up. So I trusted it to follow that pattern. And, you know, the last time it failed off a green day, it only opened lower by about half a percent. So risk to reward looked really good on this trade. You see it gapping up most of these green days, failing on one. But, you know, a majority of the time it's holding. So it looks like it would probably hold, and it did. It was a little bit of a questionable setup, but I still really liked it, and I thought it was smart to go heavy, full volume, just because I looked at the whole indexes. And the indexes yesterday, you could see, showed a pretty strong turnaround. Uh, the Dow Jones ended a day higher, so did the S&P and the NASDAQ. So because of those two things, I really liked the setup on Apple. And also what I liked most about Apple, too, is that its highs was so close. It was just a few days ago, so normally when a stock is near its highs or touches its highs, its chance of hitting it again are very likely. So I would expect Apple to keep carrying on here, and it might be worth another swing trade this evening. So looking back at my watch list, you can see here, this is my swing trading watch list, and almost all the sectors are in the green, especially Infotech. So that's why I really liked Apple, and I liked anything in the tech sector. So yeah, that's pretty much my swing trading watch list, and you can see that I'm not trading anything risky or anything low volume I'm looking for simple high volume low risk trades but because I'm getting these you know small returns off high margin and high volume I get big big returns back so the risk to reward is actually worth it a lot and I'd rather be trading these than penny stocks and options so if you want to try the same strategy just follow along and you'll keep learning like I am